All right, let's talk about what the phrase cash flow means. Um, over on the right hand side of the screen, you're looking at a cash flow statement. Um, but that's not really what the phrase means. If you want to learn more about the statement, watch the video, uh, cash flow statement. Uh, really when people say, are, are you cash flowing? Does the business cash flow? If your answer is yes and you're lucky, um, what it really means is that your more cash is coming in than is going out. Uh, and cash coming in and out is used for different things. The three primary purposes are for operations, investment, or financing. So you got cash coming in based on the company running, you got cash coming in uh, if you're buying equipment or making investments, and then you have cash coming in if you're raising money or you're paying dividends, it's coming in or out for each of those things. When you add it all up, net net, is more cash coming in than it's coming out. That's what cash flowing means. Um, that's when you're adding, I mean, really, if you think about it in terms of your checking account, it's pretty simple. If you're adding money every month to your, to your checking account, that means you're cash flowing. So uh, cash from operations is usually the number one consideration for companies if they are um, startups or if they're not full, heavily invested or aren't doing a bunch of financings. Um, operations really tells you what's happening in the business. So there's some big questions around cash flow. Uh, and it has to do with how you book revenue, how you recognize revenue, um, which means, is there any deferred revenue? What billing terms you give your customers, and eventually when they pay you. Uh, and I want to show you a little example. It's really important. There's a huge difference between revenue and cash flow, and cash coming in. Now, cash flow simply means that the amount of cash coming in is bigger than cash coming, going out. Remember that, because we're about to look at a company that signs four contracts, and they think they're doing great, uh, but really they're going to have cash flow problems. So let's look at this example. I'm going to sign four contracts, one each month, that are $120,000. They pay me $10,000 a month, but I give my customer 60 days to pay me. Those are the terms. So each month I sign a contract, and this represents the payments over time. Every month I'm getting $10,000. So in month number one, I'm getting ten, I sign a $120,000 revenue contract, but I only recognize revenue, and look this video up, revenue recognition. I only recognize the first 10 because I'm delivering a service that month. So I recognize 10,000 bucks and the service has been delivered. I've got deferred revenue, meaning I haven't recognized it yet of 110. Those two numbers add up to the total contract value. So we're really excited. We signed a $120,000 contract. Well, great. You've got 110 to collect. You're, you're only going to bill the client for 10 this month. You're not going to collect anything because the client has 60 days to pay you. So you, now you've got receivables. They owe you 10,000 bucks. Okay, so now watch what happens over the next three months. I sign another contract. My deferred revenue goes up a, a bunch, but now I'm billing the first client for the next 10 and the second client for his first 10. So now I've got 20 grand that I'm billing. Nobody's paying me because I've given them 60 days. So now they owe me 30,000 bucks and I'm just waiting for checks. I sign another contract. Uh, I, I, my deferred revenue goes up even higher. This month I've got another 30 grand that I'm billing my clients uh, in, in recognized revenue. And finally my first client pays me 10,000 bucks. But now my receivables go from 30 to 50 and I've only got 10 in cash. Four months, so at the end of four months, after I've signed four contracts, I'm all excited, I've got $480,000 worth of contracts, almost half a million bucks. I've got 380 of deferred revenue and I've got 100K in revenue of services that I've delivered. And if you notice, 380 plus 100 equals your total contract amount. Deferred versus recognized should always equal your total contracts. But, but I have hardly gotten paid anything. I only collect $20,000 uh, in month number four, and they still owe me 80 grand. So look at what I've collected and what they owe me, and that is uh, what it, um, I'm sorry, you can, you can uh, add that up to be your uh, recognized revenue, your receivables versus your cash in. So at the end of all this, I've only collected $30,000. bucks. i have done half a million bucks in revenue, but I've only collected $30,000. That's the difference between cash and revenue. And so cash flowing means that the cash you're collecting is greater than the cash that's going out to support all your employees and run your company. Um, that's a really important difference uh, to understand. If you want to learn more of the details, uh, watch the cash flow document, um, the cash flow statement video. But this difference between revenue, re deferred revenue, uh, recognized revenue, what cash is coming in, and receivables is key to understanding cash flow inside of a business.